Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Pisces. Hope you're all well. You'll notice that I have the manifest stone on top of this oracle deck. This reading is going to be dedicated to new love, new love energy, clarity, and new beginnings, okay? Whatever it is you're manifesting, uh, what is manifesting in your love life. There may be somebody who's manifesting you, wanting a new beginning. So let's focus on that and see what is happening. Pisces, what is the overall energy surrounding Pisces in their love life? What is manifesting for Pisces in love? What are you, is Pisces manifesting? Who is manifesting you? Clarity, please, for Pisces in their love life. Anything else Pisces needs to know about what is manifesting in their life? New love, new love energy, and clarity. New beginnings for Pisces. What is manifesting? There we go. Ah, the honoring path. One here I thought wanted to come out. Guess not. Pisces, what is the overall energy? Manifesting love in your love life. What's manifesting? Ah, loss and new beginnings. Ooh, I feel like there's somebody here. Ooh, you guys are being, someone is being guided towards you or they feel they are to have a new beginning. It may be too late. I don't know. You may have set yourself free from this person. It's really all about whether this person has honorable intentions. If they're coming in with that energy, they feel guided. You have a new beginning. So beautiful energy. There it is. Something new is about to begin. This is something you may be waiting for. Someone feels if they don't hurry up and come towards you. All right. Tell you what their intentions are in an honorable way. You will likely move away. I see movement towards other people. You may be guided away. So they're coming in. This person doesn't want to lose out here. It may be too late, though. Some of you may have a new person. Let's see what's going on. Pisces. What is the overall energy surrounding Pisces? What's coming in? What's going out? What's manifesting in your love life? Anything else Pisces need to know about love? Manifesting clarity, new beginnings. What is it that Pisces needs to know? Clarity, please. There we go. Yeah, someone's headed in your direction. Someone wants to either make peace or they're coming towards you to communicate with something that they're learning. Now, there is definitely some movement moving into calmer waters. There are a few obstacles and challenges here with the Five of Wands. Someone's taking action. Yeah, I feel like someone's taking action or they're going to lose out. Or you, maybe you feel if they don't hurry up and take action that you are going to um, move on. So yeah, there is this manifesting. Yeah, someone's manifesting you. Coming back around, you're manifesting love. There's change coming. Something's about to change. Someone's taking action. They may be taking a different approach towards you because they don't want to lose out. And we have this Ten of Pentacles, safety, security, stability. Yeah, you've got something beautiful happening. Some of you could end up in a committed relationship soon. Ooh, Empress, yes, you're holding yourself in high regard. And you're manifesting this energy by doing this, all right? Manifesting a new beginning by sitting back and holding yourself in high regard. Uh, you are ready for love. You are open and available. I feel somebody is uh, definitely feeling guided towards you. You may have friends, family, guides who are telling you, just stay right where you are. You have a lot of abundance. You have new love coming. Something is beautiful is about to happen. A whole new cycle. So this is something you've been waiting for. But I feel the person coming towards you is worried. Yeah, you have a commitment. You're holding out for this. You are ready for this beautiful energy. Oh my goodness, Pisces. There we go. Yeah, you have the Knight of Wands. So I feel as what's happened is you've had somebody here who was rushing in and out for that passionate energy. And I feel that this is someone who may have been coming in for intention. They may not have had the best intentions for you. There may have been some kind of argument. So you just sort of sat there and went, no, I'm just going to stay single, keeping everything to myself. I'm doing fine on my own. And uh, this is how you manifest. You manifest this change. So this person's coming towards you. You've likely manifested each other. But 
I feel like if this person, you're going to make sure that you know this person has honorable intentions. Spirit is guiding this person to do this in an honorable manner. You may move away towards someone else. I feel you have a Knight of Wands headed in your direction. You're definitely waiting for something here. And... Uh, but it may be too late. Someone's worried it's going to be too late. Yeah, someone's worried. They're coming in to invest. Someone didn't invest before, and they feel it may be too late. They're feeling this sense of loss. Uh, you would not invest in them. They know it. They have to come in and uh, be honorable. So be careful what you invest in here, though, this person. Make sure that they are coming in honorable because this is somebody who could be a little manipulative to come back around. Make sure you feel safe and sure that you're comfortable with this person, that there's something solid that you can rely on. And they are very well of what you're expecting uh, and what you want because you're in this Empress energy. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> manifesting a love a new beginning a new cycle tell me about the six of swords lovely yeah so there's someone who's coming towards you to make things right they know they need to do things right there needs to be justice and balance if this person doesn't there will be an argument there will be uh, there's obstacles here and uh, you will sit here with this nine of pentacles and keep everything to yourself be careful you don't have a person. I see a Virgo, a Gemini, Libra, Taurus, and it could be anyone. This is just the energy. I'm seeing a lot of the same energy for a lot of people. Uh, strong Libra, though, and I feel like there's someone here who wants to keep everything to themselves, so make sure. They, could be, they may manipulate to be able to come towards you, but this person needs to change. If they come back around, things need to change. They need to hold you in high regard. They need to commit because if their intentions aren't good, you will not invest in them. They're aware of this, so they're waiting for the right time. But if this, you've been waiting for this, and if this person, like if they don't like light a fire under it, they are going to lose, and that's what I feel. They're chasing after you. Uh, <laughs> their intentions is to come after you very quickly, very passionately. So let's see with this Five of Wands, what's going on here. Five of Wands energy, why is this here? Yeah, so there is a, there was a lack of balance here. Yeah, so there was some kind of... Someone needs to take action. They need to come in in a balanced manner, okay? They need to do things right. There will be, there will be issues. There are obstacles to overcome. Balance needs to be restored. Justice needs to be restored. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they're very well aware of this. Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here? This Nine of Pentacles. There we go. Oh, yeah, see? Sketchy. Yeah, I feel as though this person, they come as someone who wants to keep everything to themselves. And I feel as though they may not have your best intentions. This person could be a manipulator. This could be a past energy where they came towards you and uh, there was no change. It didn't feel safe, so you may have moved on. I have a feeling you're moving on. I do. I feel like some of you are moving on to something new. Um, this person may try to come in with a whole new energy to express themselves, to start something new, but we'll see. Make sure they have their, your best intentions. This is somebody who needs to be more generous with their time, but this is also a person who kind of wants to be single. They want to keep everything they have to themselves. They don't really want to give much. So whatever you do, do not give this person very much, okay, until you know it's safe to do so. Yes. Tell me about the magician. Yeah, this person's making a decision here, okay? Uh, reconciliation energy, a judgment to come in and manifest this. They want this reconciliation. This person's, you, you may have given this person a bit of a wake-up call. Um, you may have stopped reaching out, keeping things to yourself, not giving to them anymore because they, you know, this is somebody who kind of, they don't always have the best intentions. They kind of want you to honor them. They want you to come to them. They're used to getting attention. So if they don't do things right, you will not, you're not going to feed this person and build their ego anymore. So you've given them a wake-up call. Yeah. They came back around already once, I feel. Pisces, yeah. So, but here they come again. 
Yeah, so yeah, this person feels like there's no hope. So you feel if they come back again, there's no hope to feel stable, that you can rely on this person. They may have some regrets for not making a better decision. Uh, they may have judged the situation and judged you the wrong way, okay? Or maybe you're feeling that way. Take it as it resonates, but I think they have some regrets here for not uh, being more stable, more reliable. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you... You're you're trusting your intuition here. Your spirit guides are guiding you. This person feels guided towards you. I do. I feel like they're, you know, this is one of those energies. They need to be honorable. They need to have honorable intentions. Yeah, look at that. Here they come, coming back around with the world. There's your confirmation. They're coming back again. They want to change this. They want to, they want to come around. Uh, I feel as though you're just going to wait to see how things go. This person wants to change. They want to change um, the way they are. They want to make you feel safe, secure. They want to be more reliable. They're, they feel they're ready for this. But if there is no change, you will not give them. It's telling you, do not give this person anything. Don't feed their ego. Keep everything to yourself. Because if they don't change and they come in and they don't reciprocate, share their feelings, um, you know, they don't have the best intentions, you will put an end to this and you will move on. But you're going to wait to see how things go. See how it evolves. Feel like it's been a while uh, since you heard this from this person. Tell me about the Empress energy. Why is this here? Yeah, see, yeah, this person knows they need to invest in you. You will not invest in them unless they come in in the right way. You're open and available. Uh, you're waiting patiently. You know, you're being the empress. You're patient. You're kind. Uh, but you are ready for a commitment. You do have somebody who is thinking about investing in you. They're waiting for the right time to approach you. Wow, tell me about the four of wands. You may have another person. We'll see what's going on. Tell me about the four of wands. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, you have someone who's not so sure, right? Not too secure about uh, commitment here. Someone's feeling lonely, spending a lot of time at home alone. Feel that they come towards you. Be careful this person's coming in to invest properly. Do not give to this person. Uh, I do feel they may not have your best intentions. Okay, but I do feel there's a possibility of several people. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. I feel like you people are reaching out, but they're kind of breadcrumbing. So you're just sort of like, no, just staying single, staying where I'm at, holding myself in high regard and waiting patiently for new love, new love energy. You are ready for a commitment for marriage. Someone here is lacking, like they come towards you with that lack. Maybe they... Uh, come in for attention, they come in quick, but there's something that they're not doing right. Yeah, it's the way they communicate. There's something lacking in the communication. Uh, I feel they, this is somebody who probably has a bit of an ego or something, you know, and their ego's getting in the way a little bit. You're seeing something in the communication. Yeah, you're not so sure this is going to work out, but they're coming in to tell you they want to work this out. They're missing you, they're lonely. I do, I feel like they have regrets. Um, they came around the first time. Maybe you feel you judged them unfairly or you judged the situation or maybe they judged you unfairly. Maybe this person felt you weren't good enough. You weren't the person to marry uh, or to commit to. But, I, you know, they may have judged you wrong. They may be coming back around, but I'm not so sure. Tell me about this night. Yeah, not so sure you want to work on this. Yeah, you can't see a way forward. If they come towards you with the Knight of Wands, and it doesn't mean every time you see the Knight of Wands it's someone who's rushing in for passion. A lot of times it's actually somebody who's just in a hurry to take action, to fight for what they want. So, you know, there's something here that you want to make sure you see. Be careful that you see things clearly, okay? Because there's something you may not have seen and why you didn't invest in this person or something they weren't seeing. They may not have judged you right the first time. They may have made a bad choice and they regret it. Maybe you regret it. Take it as it resonates. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something here, right? Yeah, you're holding on to. This person doesn't want to let go of you. They see you as the one. They want to invest, but you're not invested in them because you're holding on to something. 
You're being stubborn, kind of this energy staying stuck. You're a little worried that this person come, keeps coming around just to hold on to you for that passion. That's all they want you for because they're not really fully invested. Maybe there's something here you're not seeing or you can't see your way past. Look at the details and ask yourself what it is that you're holding on to and maybe look at the details at why this person is holding on to you but it could be them as well you know they're looking at the details they see you as the one they don't want to let go but they feel maybe you won't invest in them because of the way they came around before they feel they may have lost out okay on an opportunity with you to have a new beginning uh, they feel you that you the ship has sailed it's too late you may be off with someone else this person's a little pessimi pessimistic yeah, you're. I feel like you are th that way too about whether this person will ever change if they come around. You know, that's that kind of energy. So there's some indecision here. And then I toss the cards all on the floor. And all the excitement. I'm almost scared to look at the new beginning here. <laughs> New beginnings are good. There's clarity. You may be seeing things clearly now where you weren't before, and maybe they are. So let's see about this honoring path. Why is this here for Pisces? Why is this honoring path here? Why is this honoring path? What's this all about? There you go. Yeah, so there's somebody here, earth sign energy, or somebody who's moving very slow. So this is somebody who's a little emotionally detached. They're kind of have a lot of success. They're focusing on themselves, focus on their pentacles. They're looking back at the past and they're looking at the details. Feel as though this person's learning something. They're understanding something. They need to come in right. They need to make things right. They need to learn to do things the right way. They want to move forward with you. I do feel they're a little emotionally detached, like they're too focused on themselves, their finances. Uh, this person's pondering this situation. What are their intentions? This could be you, Pisces, as well. Tell me about the Prince of Pentacles energy. Yeah, so this person's definitely um, emotionally detached, kind of keep their fit, feelings hidden. They don't really share them. So this is sort of an energy when you can't tell what someone's intentions are because they, you know, they keep things hidden. There may be some secret something. They may feel that way about you. Okay, Pisces. I see Pisces and Cancer energy. Your Pisces may have Earth in their chart. They may be very slow moving, pondering, emotionally detached. Kind of somebody who is used to other people coming towards them. They may have a bit of an ego issue. Like there's something they need to deal with here. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I feel if they come back around... You may move away. They need to invest, and I feel like you're being patient, but they may be waiting for the right time. It's quite possible they're just waiting for the right time, okay, uh, to come towards you. Maybe the timing wasn't right in the past. Something was off. Who knows? I just feel like they were rushing towards you, and there's just something you can't see a way forward, or there's something that you're not seeing or something they weren't seeing. Let's have a boo here. Put this card back up the right way. Spirit, friends, family, and guides. Why is this here? Clarity, please. There we go. So, take that one, put those ones down. So I feel, yeah. So there's someone here who's contemplating, looking into the future. They're feeling guided towards this, but they're working through this very slowly. They're facing it now, maybe facing some fears that they didn't want to look at before. Maybe they have a fear of commitment. They're planning something. This person's coming towards you. They feel guided. Uh, they're planning and working through the details, and they're planning to come towards you. Uh, maybe an open up, offer you a fresh new start. Wow. So Pisces, you could have a Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, Gemini or Virgo that's coming towards you. Yes. I feel as though, I feel strong Libra. 
and Taurus. Very strong Libra and Taurus energy here for some of you. I feel that this person is thinking about commitment, marriage, kind of working through this or looking at the details, you know. And um, they're ready for a fresh new start. They may be taking a fresh new approach, just looking at it different. So this isn't a fast thing. This is somebody who moves slow. They're planning in the future. They may be thinking about commitment. Tell me about this loss here. Let me just move these out of the way. Tell me about the loss, this event. Yeah, so yeah, you're looking back at the past. So you're kind of in this energy here. You may have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, or you're just in this energy where you're just spending a lot of time alone. You're single. You're worried about your money. You're concentrating on it. I feel like you're just pretty grounded. You're grounding yourself. I do feel like you find this person attractive. I do feel you're looking at the details very carefully. You're looking into the past. Maybe you were waiting for this person to come in. I'm not so sure you can see a new a new future with one person here. But you can see a new future with somebody else. You are looking into the past. It's a past person, past energy. Grounded, practical, realistic. You're relying on the things you know about this person from the past. You do find them attractive, very passionate person, uh, definitely. you. I think you're holding on. I think you really like this person. I think your uh, passion is growing. I feel they're coming towards you, but you're going to rely on this energy here. That you, what you know about this person, okay? Uh, I feel as though you're just going to kind of wait. You're not going to give this person too much until you know because you're not going to feed their ego kind of thing. Tell me about the new beginning. Why is this here? Yeah, yeah, you've got a soulmate connection here. You have a choice between two people and uh, there are connections with both but only one only one is the soulmate, and that's what you're looking at. Who is the right person? Who's the one that you find the most attractive, that you're the most passionate about, that you can't let go? Look at the details. Think about it. Be patient with yourself while you make this choice. You have a choice to make here about who you are manifesting. So it's telling you, it's sort of a be careful what you manifest, okay? And Because uh, you'll have to make a choice. If two people come in, I feel like you got a couple people coming around there. I feel like you got no hope with one. It's sort of like you're just a bit pessimistic about whether or not this person will ever change. Uh, so you're going to base your decision on some of this. You are manifesting love, though. You, know, you are not afraid to put the work in and invest in it once you find someone who's a keeper. I think someone sees you as a keeper. They see you as marriage material, someone they can be comfortable with. And I feel as though they... They don't want to lose out if you move on to someone else. But there's that soulmate connection, that new beginning. It's right there. You may not see it. Make sure you turn around and look at it because I feel like you're sort of not seeing it. There's someone here you may not be seeing that could be a soulmate. and uh, Or you're just sort of looking too much into the past, holding on to a past person when you may have a new soulmate coming in. Really watch what you're, where you're focused right now. You are concentrating on money. You want to be comfortable. I feel like you, you just, whoever it is, you need to be comfortable with them. You want it to be easy. You want it to be sort of chill. I think you want someone who's a bit of a homebody kind of energy. Someone here is a keeper. Someone you find very attractive. You're going to realize that. And uh, that's your new beginning. Turn around and look because you're not recognizing something about someone here that's coming in. Tell me about this Two of Cups. You want that mental and emotional connection. There's this, there's this fit here, getting on the same page. Very well could be a Taurus. Yeah, you have a choice between two people. There's love here. Yeah, you're going to realize there's someone you can't let go of because you love them. Uh, they love you too. Yeah, you're ready for this. Look at that. It's telling you to open up and be available for this person. You may have choices. You may have to take a little time to get grounded, to look into the past. Somebody's going to lose here. You're looking into the future. There's someone you don't see a future with, and there's someone that you do. Ooh, who is the person you see a future with? I see Gemini, and I see Taurus, and I see Libra. It'll be different for each of you. 
Tell me about this energy. Who is this that you see a future with? Who do you see a future with? Pisces, who do you see a future with? Who do you see this future with? There we go. Ooh. Ah, Leo energy. You see a future with a person that's got the that's strong and confident. Okay. There's someone that you feel that you're looking at. You want someone that you feel confident, comfortable with, easy with. Feel like you're going to use a lot of your strength to make a decision. You want that soulmate. You want someone who's compatible. Someone is and someone isn't. You're pointed with this strength card right toward this energy. You're going to get on the same page with someone who's compatible. There will be a need to cooperate, compromise with each other, um, you know, to build each other up. Look at that. That's what you want. You want to, to come together with someone where you build something beautiful. These are all the things you'll be thinking about, okay? Like who's the keeper? Who's the person? You know, who's the one, right? Who's the one I should hold on to? Who's the one I should let go of? Uh, there is this empress energy, this person here. Who is this Empress? I see Gemini. I see Aries as well. Tell me about this. Who is the Empress energy? Yeah, you're getting very clear. Um, it could be a Gemini. It could be a Libra. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking about it, right? So this person seeing you that way, they're thinking a lot about you, about investing. Um they have some kind of a strategy that they're waiting for the right time to come in and talk, to clear things up. I don't think they're quite ready yet. They're waiting for that right time to come in. They're just looking at a few things. Well, they're, they're really up in their head. They're becoming clear that they, it's like they're clear at how they see you. Now, it, it does look like it's a Gemini or a Libra. There's definitely somebody, you know, they may have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart as well. But I feel that you have a choice between two, and this is the thing. And I kind of feel like it's almost like you're both making a choice. They may have a choice to come towards you. They may have a choice with someone else, and you may as well, because I see that there's this choice in love. You're going to pick the person you love. And the person that loves you. You are ready for this. It is coming right there. Uh, it's telling you to prepare yourself to make sure you're sure what you want. Be practical. Okay. And be sensible about this person. Wow. Fertility. I think a lot of people are going to get new love soon. I do. I see it in a lot of readings. Yeah. You're going to be very discerning and ask a lot of questions. Uh, here with the Queen of Swords, see, some Libra, you may have some Libra in your chart, uh, maybe even Taurus, Gemini, or Aquarius, it doesn't, you don't have to, this is just where you're going to ask a lot of questions, one thing you're going to make sure of is that whoever comes towards you doesn't have anybody else, you're holding yourself in high regard, anyone who doesn't treat you properly, that isn't open and available for love, and doesn't come in, and can't share their love, they don't want to get on the same page, you will cut them out. You're going to make yourself quite clear. But I feel it's more like you're becoming clear in your head. You will find that clarity of the two people. You have a choice. I feel you have a choice. I actually feel the person coming towards you has a choice as well. But their choice is more about uh, the right time, making sure they're very clear about the way they come in. And uh, they're just patiently sitting here thinking about you. They're probably wondering if you'll invest in them, if it's someone who's coming around. Definitely there's one person that you're very pessimistic about. They're a kind of a cup half full kind of person. Uh, this is someone that, you know, could be the person coming towards you. It is in the center. Someone who maybe regrets not coming towards you, right? Making you feel safe, maybe offering some kind of a commitment, something solid. So they're coming around. Yeah, you may not be so sure about one person, see? You may not be so sure. You're a little emotionally drained, possibly, from this, from thinking too much, or they are. This is that watery energy. It's you. I feel like the person coming towards you has got some water, possibly. Maybe cancer. 
You may have a person that's... You got someone around you that's got a little bit of an ego. They may not have the best intentions. Just watch that. Or they're trying to figure out, you know, how to approach this. A little bit emotionally detached. Or they're detaching themselves. Uh, trying to be logical to make the right choice. <laughs> yeah, they want to make the right choice too. So yeah, it's, it's almost like it feels like, um, you know, this is the day. This is the time. The decision has to be made because if not, there will be this sense of loss. Because um, I feel like you won't wait forever. You are ready for love. You have other people. And, you know, it's like they either have to come in and do this and they have to do it right. There needs to be some kind of a commitment to this energy, uh, this emotional investment as well, and a fresh new start, a fresh approach before you will invest. Yeah. Your patience will run out eventually, I feel, uh, with one person. That's the person who's come around before, and you're not so sure. Yeah. You will make the right choice. You will make the right choice. I do feel they're both possibly reconciliation. Um, people that you've known before, definitely. Um, doesn't mean you had relationships. Some of you are moving away, or somebody that's coming towards you could be moving away from a commitment or a marriage due to the lack of balance. There may have been too much fighting, too much argument, just too much chaos. And... Uh, they're tired of feeding it as well, right? They're tired of feeding it. So they're thinking about you. So yeah, wow. You're in somebody's thoughts here. So we have this offer. You're not so sure if you're going to take the offer from one person. So you may have two people coming towards you. You're going to have to make this choice. You're going to be very discerning. Boy, you have the abundance coming towards you. You are so ready and uh, you're just not sure. You might get a little bit stuck for a bit until you get that clarity. But I wouldn't worry too much. This is just sort of stuck. And you know, the person, there may be someone coming towards you that's maybe pessimistic if they come that you will accept this as well, that you may reject them. Okay, so yeah, they may be burdened by this. Somebody may be kind of wanting to drop this burden. They're just like, you know, feeling emotionally drained, worried that you, they'll be rejected. And eventually they will. So like I said, it won't last forever. There is always the sun. Once this burden is lifted, these wands are dropped. There's that sun. So yeah, lovely energy actually. I, I like to see the tens when it's over, right? It maxes out. It can't get any worse. Tell me about the world up here. Tell me about this world. What is changing here? Yeah, someone's trying to figure out how to approach you. This could be the second time around for somebody. Uh, they're trying to figure out how to approach you to create this change. They see you as the one. Someone sees you as the one. You may not be so sure. you got a choice between two. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> yeah, you're just sitting here single, right? It feels good to be adored, doesn't it? <laughs> to get all this attention. Yeah, I think somebody wants to find out if you're still single, to be honest. Yeah. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, and we will wrap this up. Give me more clarity on this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone here is definitely contemplating, soul-searching, looking within, looking for answers to see if you're still single. Could be you. Doesn't have to be a Virgo. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, so someone here is definitely being careful what they wish for. They want to offer up a cup. It's telling you to soul search this. Just stay where you are. Just stay in that single energy until you get what you want, okay? To just keep things to yourself. Uh, don't share all this information with everybody, anybody, in fact. Keep it to yourself. I feel like this person, I, I kind of feel like it's telling you the soul search. Stay single and uh, just stay put till you get exactly what you want. And uh, to be patient. It is coming, okay? It is definitely coming. Beautiful. Let's see what the outcome is. 
Yeah, because I feel like you're really, really, uh, really contemplating this person. Yeah, you know. You know not to uh, invest fully. You know, right? Not to reach out, not to feed this person, not to give too much. Uh, to make sure they're coming in to give to you. Yeah, you. I think you got a couple people who want to know if you're still single and available. Let's see here, Pisces. Yeah, so there is some kind of a great achievement. Something's happening. You got a new beginning. It's going to be a bit of an event. You may get a kind of an invitation somewhere just to get together and talk. Could be anything. I know with everything going on, it'll generally for most people be something rather simple. But it's hard to say. It depends where you live, what's going on. I feel, yeah, the things are going to start speeding up, okay? There is an increase in energy. This is going to make you feel really good, okay? It's very positive. So there's a new cycle beginning. There's a lot of healing, a lot of clarity, okay? A lot of love. And, oh, the clarity is just crazy. This path, right? Things are speeding up. You're very close to uh, achieving what it is that you want. So be patient and just wait, okay? Um, hold yourself in high regard and be patient. you got two people thinking about you. It's telling you just stick to yourself. Some of you are just hanging around home a lot too. You're in that hermit mode and that's okay to be there, okay? Uh, I don't feel like whatever this is that's going on, I don't think you need to go out in the community to get it. It's coming towards you. Uh, somebody is manifesting you. Be conscious and be aware. Be ready to receive this energy, okay? Stay optimistic about this person or persons. If you have two coming towards you, the toughest part of this is going to be deciding which is the one that you love, which is the one that you have the feelings that worth holding on to, okay? That's, that's the issue. Definitely you have someone here who's very analytical, um, okay? They're sort of not clear yet. They're waiting for the right time to make this decision, to come in, to put the work in. They're not clear how to do it, how they want to go about it. That's why I feel strongly uh, for a lot of you. It's a, uh, somebody with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their heart. Someone who uses their head over their heart. And uh, definitely uh, is somebody who sort of takes that pause to sort of strategize their move, right? <laughs> before they come in so yeah there is a kindred spirit yeah you're probably very much alike uh, very compatible and that's what's going to make this decision is the compatibility uh, if they you know the two of you work well together if you're on the same page if your life is on that same path and in fact you may work in the same industry same career where you have some things that are very much in common okay so beautiful energy for you guys and a lot of people are getting uh, this new love energy coming because you've been manifesting and if this isn't your story it's telling you it's time to make the decision to start manifesting and I know it's not easy with everything going on but anything is possible uh, you just have to hold yourself in high regard and be patient focus on that abundance and be open to it okay so take care wish you guys the best bye for now